Last week, terrible. This week, I'm going to do much better with my week six predictions. Maybe. The same amount of dedication and research is going to go in to these week six predictions. But overall, remember, we only have one rule. Oxford always win. Don't believe me? Ask Stoke fans. <laughs> Let's start week six. And we start with managerless Stoke on Friday night. They might not be managerless by the time you watch this, but at the moment they are managerless. And I gotta say, I think that's a pretty rash decision to get rid of Stephen Schumacher. But I don't think there's gonna be any new manager or caretaker manager bounce. Stoke don't look a particularly great side. Hull don't look like they can score a goal even if they played until Christmas. So the only logical scoreline is nil-nil. Norwich versus Watford is the first game on Saturday and Norwich let me down big time last weekend. Uh, I thought they'd get a win. They conceded a goal early, an own goal early and couldn't get back into the game. So therefore, I'm going to be backing Watford in this one to carry on their fine start to the season who did at least get me some glimmer of joy. Watford 1, Norwich 0. Bit of a London derby, QPR versus Millwall. Uh, look, what a goal mouth scramble for QPR's equaliser away at Wembley. Amazing resilience. Well, it looked like you were going to lose that game when you conceded so late, but you came back even later to get that equaliser. Millwall didn't really do much in that game against Luton, and I think it's going to be another defeat for the Lions, I'm afraid. I've got Rangers winning this. 2-0. And another derby up in the northeast. It is Sunderland versus Middlesbrough. Sunderland looking to bounce back after that terrible defeat to Wayne Rooney's Plymouth. What are you doing, Sunderland? Well, it was about time you lost a game, to be fair. It was all going a little bit too well. And uh, yeah, I feel this one is not going to be a win either for Sunderland. I think Middlesbrough are going to get something from the Stadium of Light. All honours even. A uh, handshakes all round. A Desmond 2-2. Bristol City versus Oxford United is undoubtedly the main event this weekend, isn't it? A dirty snake in the grass, Liam Manning, and there's a bunch of Oxford old boys in there. So Oxford will be desperate to win this one. We're in good form after three wins in a row at home. We're just outside the playoffs. Bristol City are the ones looking in poor form as well. Manning left Oxford because he thought Bristol City were going to be a bigger and better club. But who's above you in the league? I jest, Bristol City fans. Or am I really jesting? Wouldn't this be amazing, Oxford fans? The first away win of the season at Bristol City. Maybe we can fire another manager this weekend as well. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? And just remember, Oxford always win. And they're winning this game. Bristol City 1, Oxford United 2. Burnley versus Portsmouth. Look, Pompey, I thought you'd get a nil-nil draw against West Brom. You couldn't even go one minute without conceding a goal. Burnley, amazing result. Probably the result of the weekend, uh, getting that win at Leeds. A uh, huge result, in fact. And I think that back at Turf Moor, you are going to be looking to put a big victory on the board here. I do feel for you at the moment, Pompey fans, that maybe you're going to prove me wrong this weekend. But I've got Burnley down for a big win. It's Burnley 3 Portsmouth nil. Cardiff City versus Leeds United. Look, the Bluebirds doing really poorly in League One at the moment and Leeds will be chomping at the bit to get a bit of revenge after that defeat to Burnley. So I can only see one winner here. Cardiff fans, how is your faith and patience in Errol Boule, Brule, Creme Brule. I don't know. I can't, I, I can't really know how to say his name. But how is your faith in him? Because it's not been a good start and it's going to continue to be a bad start because Leeds are going to get the victory marching on to a 3-1 win. Coventry versus Swansea. Uh, I'm looking at this one as another one where I would expect Coventry to win the game, but they've been quite poor this season and again it was just another okay result at the weekend. Swansea actually had a very good win uh, and I think Swansea are going to pick up a point here at the CBS Stadium. I think it's going to be Coventry City 1, Swansea City 1. Luton Town versus Sheffield Wednesday. Luton got that first win of the season and you'd expect them to now build on that this weekend against a Wednesday side who 
other than the first game of the season, have been a bit lacklustre. It really should have been a win. Owls fans against QPR scoring so late. But oh my goodness, how do you not clear that ball at the end against QPR and see that game out one there? It's just the way things are going at the moment. And I think this is going to be too tough of a test down in Kenilworth Road as well. So I'm going to go for a first home win for Luton of the season. Luton 2, Sheffield Wednesday 0. The other side in Sheffield now, Sheffield United versus Derby. It's been an excellent start for the Blades, and you Blades were the only ones that gave me a perfect score on that Friday night. I thought the predictions were going to be amazing. They kind of went downhill after that. But again, at Bramble Lane, you would be thinking this one's going to be another win, but this should be a cracking atmosphere. Derby will absolutely pack out that away end, and they will be in fine fettle because they've started the season as well as Oxford United has done for the newly promoted side. It's only Portsmouth letting the side down in that regard. Derby are doing superbly well, and this just sums it up, really. This work by Ebu Adams, this, this sensational bit of teamwork here. He's got the ball, he's not being selfish, he's thinking about the team, and he's just rolled it out to try and waste a few more valuable seconds at the end. Good work there, son. But unfortunately, Rams fans, you're going to lose this game. I'm going for 2 0 to the Blades. West Bromwich Albion versus Plymouth. Plymouth, Argyle. Huge standing ovation. Let's give Plymouth a big round of applause. Because they got their first win of the season against Sunderland and it was a last minute winner as well. Don't necessarily think you're going to take that into this away game against West Brom because West Brom are in great form. Fantastic win away at Portsmouth and they're going to do the business again at the Hawthorns this weekend in another high scoring game. I feel Plymouth will get a couple of goals but they'll be on the wrong side of this result. West Bromwich Albion 4, Plymouth 2. And we end with a Lancashire derby on the Sunday with Preston versus Blackburn. Preston got a decent result at the weekend. One, it, one, one draw, hecking bottom, uh, proving that his side are pretty tough to beat. Only good sides beat Preston, <coughs> like Oxford United. And I think he'll be trying desperately to do what he did against Luton, really, and try and get a bit of a smash and grab 1-0 win. But back against Blackburn at your peril. They've been amazing to start this season so far, and I feel it's going to be more joy for Rovers, and they're going to take the bragging rights in this derby game. It is going to end Preston North End 1, Blackburn Rovers 3. So that's week six in the books, folks. Put your mortgage on it. This is all guaranteed to happen. And let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts on my predictions and let me know your predictions as well. I'll be back to do a review of Liam Manning's final game in charge of Bristol City as they entertain Oxford. That will be on Saturday and then I'll be back to do another review video next weekend. Thanks very much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe and I'll be back very soon. My work is done here. What do you mean your work is done? You don't do anything. <laughs> Didn't I?